I was driving yesterday and I saw that the leaves were already kind of starting to change colors. Yeah, fall is just around the corner. Of course, the first official day of fall arrives Wednesday, so only a couple of days away now. And we do need some rainfall. We're a little dry. And normally, September is always a little on the drier side, but we're a little dry, dry. And I think if we had some rainfall, that would definitely help with the, uh, the nice, pretty fall that we could see. And overall, not too bad, but I'm looking for a little bit of rainfall. I know. <laughs> Imagine me saying something about rain, but right. I'm just trying to think of a pretty fall here because if you notice, you look around some of the leaves beginning to brown up, kind of dry up just a little bit, mm -hmm. and that's an indicator that we need some of that rainfall, especially as we head into the new season. I, I for one, would like a pretty fall here in yeah, Eastern Kentucky, so too. maybe we can uh, make it rain here a little bit, maybe in that seven day forecast. Let's <laughs> take over the latest satellite and radar imagery over the last six hours. And we're continuing with lots of cloud cover across central and eastern Kentucky, but some of that needed rainfall, well, well to our east, working northeastward across portions of Virginia into West Virginia. And some of this cloud cover keeping temperatures on the warmer side, especially to our south and east. Look at the difference here. The yellows and oranges indicating temperature readings in the low to mid 60s, but back off across central Kentucky, say for instance, there in Lexington, not dealing with as much cloud cover, temperatures much cooler in the lower 50s. And some of that cloud cover a little bit thicker to our south and east, and it helps keep and acts like a blanket across the lower part of the atmosphere. And that's why those temperature readings are a little bit warmer to our south and east. But later on this afternoon, here's a look at that bus stop forecast. I think we do rise into the mid 70s going with a high of 75 degrees under a good mix of sun and clouds and the stray chance is possible for maybe a shower this afternoon, especially across far eastern Kentucky and some of our West Virginia and Virginia County. So something to keep in mind if you live in and around those areas. Now, Mountain Almanac Ford this morning showing a sunrise come up here in about 30 minutes or so at 7:20 a.m. Our sunset at 732 p.m. So getting a little bit earlier and we'll do so as we head into the new season. Pinpoint Doppler regional shots showing you some rainfall to our east. Upper level disturbance and surface low working across the Carolinas and we zoom things back out across much of the eastern United States and yet another system working across the Florida Panhandle bringing some rainfall across Mississippi there heading into portions of Alabama. This will work into Georgia and it's all going to track towards the east. So not expecting that to impact any of the Commonwealth at all as it tracks towards the east, eventually making its way off the eastern coast over the next 24 to 36 hours. But looking at future view, doing a pretty good job. As we concentrate over the next 48 hours, we start things off at 9 o'clock this morning. Temperatures on the cooler side with readings in the mid to upper 50s, eventually topping out around 75 degrees or so later on this afternoon. Some cloud cover will be expected, and there's a the chance for a few of those pop-up showers working across far eastern Kentucky and, for instance, maybe some of the counties there in West Virginia and Virginia. Otherwise, we cool things back off through the overnight hours and into the first part of your Tuesday. Future View trying to show a few more showers as we head into Tuesday afternoon. Not necessarily buying that. I think most of us stay dry. High pressure back towards the north and west going to make its way closer to the Commonwealth and that's going to bring some drier air back across central and eastern Kentucky and that will really cut back on any rain chances that we'll see through tomorrow afternoon. So we'll look for mostly sunny skies and we should keep things dry with temperatures back into the mid 70s. And as we head into Wednesday and Wednesday afternoon, temperatures actually more seasonable for this time of the year, around 78 degrees and that's where we should be for this time of the year. And of course, that is the first official day of fall. So uh, hello fall this week comes Wednesday and it's going to be a pretty nice one as well. Plenty of sunshine to go around. Now to continue into your Thursday before we cool things back off as we head into the weekend, along with the chance for a few more of those showers, especially into our Saturday and Saturday afternoon. Let's get a fourth and final check of the refrigerator art this morning. See what we have behind the magnets. Love showcasing all the beautiful art from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. Nice photos sent in from Preston over at May Valley Elementary. Time now is 647. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WRMT.